Pop the top, it's time for a new video to drop, and today I'm going to be creating a finisher in every single WWE game that that was possible in. I dare you to comment down below, do you want to see Create a Finisher return to the WWE games? We're going to be starting off our Create a Finisher journey on the very first game that Create a Finisher was involved, and that was WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. But before we jump into that, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button today, because one, is absolutely free, two, you can unsubscribe at any point in the future, and three, we are on the road to 40,000 subscribers. And can this video video hit 700 likes in the very first day of it being up, I think it can. Now as I mentioned, SmackDown vs Raw 2009 was the very first year Creative Finisher was in the game. We only had normal grapples, so I do not know what I want to make for our very first finisher, but oh, oh, oh goodness gracious, I think we're going to start off with that. We're going to start off with a little low blow ski, and now, oh my goodness, if I want to keep going for a little CBT, I could do that if I so please, but I I don't think we're gonna go there instead we're gonna do a hijack clutch 06 i think that looked pretty cool hold up pull them on in yes sir we gonna pull them all the way in and now let's go through a little bit let's go through a little bit see i was never somebody that really enjoyed too much making the front grapple finishers i was always more of a fan of quite honestly making the later finishers in terms of the top ropes etc which we're gonna get into in this video so after we pop them up into the air i think what we're gonna do next oh actually i like that shoulder breaker lift but i feel like we can't really do anything else that looks kind of interesting but then again i don't know maybe it'll look all right if we land back on the feet skis you know what i'm saying this like the sting skis instead we're gonna land on the feet skis oh my goodness or we could just drop them right there oh goodness gracious that's kind of crazy hold up but instead instead i think i think i think what about the tiger bomb? Hold up. How does this look? This is probably going to look ugly. Probably going to look... Oh, oh, yeah. That didn't look that good at all. How about this? Let's remove that shoulder breaker lift because I think that's what's screwing us up over here. And instead, go down to the partial cliffhanger drop because boom, low blow. You pick them up and you slip them down. And then, oh my goodness, that was crazy. But before we hit them with that, oh, I thought maybe we would have been able to go into like a pile driver, but... I guess not, huh? Okay, maybe not, maybe not. See, this is what Creative Finisher was all about. It was actually going in and changing your mind halfway through. I can't tell you how many times I used to do this as a kid, but we're gonna make a really dope finisher, trust me. So instead, we're gonna pull them into a pile driver clutch after that. There we go, yep, yep, yep. Pull them into a pile driver clutch, and then maybe let's hit them with a little taunt. Maybe let's hit them with a little destroy taunt. Shout out to Petey Williams, man. Shout out to Petey Williams. Oh, wait a minute. How about this? After we do that, package pile driver. Okay, I mean, that kind of is the package pile driver. Not really the Kevin Steen, Kevin Owens package pile driver, but I like it nonetheless. So we'll do that, and then we'll pop up. Oh, my God. That's... Okay, well, boom, up into the air tonight, Phil Collins, and can you just finish it? No, you can actually change up what you're doing. You can't do a pile driver, though, because that's not a pile driver to me. That's more of a power bomb. but I like the high angle power bomb impact. Let's see how this all looks together now. Oh, okay, I'm gonna lift up all the way up, all the way up, yes, 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 and oh, God, drop them on the neck, but... I don't think I like that too much. So one more time now, let's go all the way back through and figure out exactly what we want to do because I don't think that came out that well. Instead, oh my goodness, he's got the goozle. Let's do the goozle bomb, all right? I think the goozle bomb is what we need. So we're going to start off with a two clutch goozle and then we're going to, oh God, that kind of hurted. Oh, but instead we can do the 360 goozle. All right, yeah, let's do the 360 goozle. Hold on. But we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll do a double. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Because then we can go 150, 150. Let's see how this looks. Oh, yep, yep. We're going all the way around town. And then we're going to drop them down. And then we're going to go a little bit crazier. We're going to go a little bit crazier. I think this one's simple but effective. Because think about that. You're choking them out and then boom. Boom, I like that. That is our very first finisher. Rate it down below in the comment section below. Put a one to five star rating. I better see some fives because the goozle guzzler right there is kind of crazy if you ask me. But let's go ahead and name our finisher. Instead of naming it a 
custom name. Let's name it, I don't know. Let's see, let's see, third degree. I like third degree because we're spinning a whole lot of degrees right there, baby. So that's the third degree. But let's go ahead and move on now to SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. So with SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 came diving created finishers. So we already got third degree, which is that big old Goozle Guzzler as he tosses them back. Goozle Guzzler does not sound the most professional. So let's try to fix that up with a dive move. And I love the fact that the FCW arena is in the background. I think that is oh so cool. I kind of want to do something in my head. I'm thinking maybe like a shooting star leg drop. Let's see if that's possible. So let's see if I can find a good shooting star takeoff. Now I'm thinking that I was just looking at it, but I'm going to just go ahead and see. Oh, maybe that one. Maybe that one's what we're looking for. Number 23. But I want to see if I can find a shooting star because I feel like they, those both are good but they might not be what we're looking for exactly but if I can find this I think it would look oh so cool I used to spend so much time in creative finisher back in the day I used to love making creative finishers for nitro oh here we go okay maybe this is it maybe this is it we're gonna oh yep there it is shooting star boom shooting star now can we go into a leg drop I hope okay that's a foot stomp Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe like right here, maybe right here. Boom, and then can we go into a leg drop? Can we go into a leg drop, please? Please, is this it? Is this it? Oh, okay. Oh, that is a leg drop. Big bet, big bet, big bet. Oh, there's a lot of different options here. We can do a famous if we even wanted to. But I think we're gonna stick to what we wanted to come here with, and that was a leg drop. So, let's go ahead and drop the trajectory height real quick because I want to get this to look less floaty and then we're going to move this to near and then we're going to move this to near is that good okay maybe 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 not maybe not maybe not maybe not is this good finisher all the way up no that speed just doesn't look that good huh maybe if we take off do the take okay see it kind of looks floaty to me I don't know do y'all do y'all see that where it's like he takes a little ooh, he's floating too much I don't know I don't know I don't know it looks really really floaty so we're gonna we're gonna move that off a little bit maybe the trajectory needs to be just completely low oh my god he got so much height because of that maybe that's it I don't know it still feels pretty low to me or not low but like you know what I mean so as always the first one is never the one you usually want to go with so I'm gonna go ahead and go back here now and instead we're gonna be looking at let's see instead of replacing wait maybe not wait can you not delete you can reselect the parts reselect parts no there we go okay I was trying to figure out how that worked in this game okay so maybe a 450 a uh, foot stomp maybe I don't know who knows I mean you are coming to create a finisher you never understand exactly what it is so there we go a 450 and then maybe a double foot stomp possibly yes sir okay that's looking kind of crazy actually hold up okay hold on let's see how exactly this is gonna look and up in the air okay drop them down we're gonna drop it lower now there we go a little bit lower oh a little bit lower there we go okay near yep okay maybe not maybe far maybe far maybe further maybe furthest okay I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more guys I'm not gonna lie the 450 into the foot stomp is kind of crazy if you ask me so let me ask now let me ask you right now do you think that this created finisher is better than the created finisher we made on smackdown versus raw 20 or 20 2009 i don't even know what game it is but we can't call this one we can't call this one the third degree shout out to tiger driver 9x by the way uh on here as you see the finisher names but we're gonna go ahead and go through real quick uh aneurysm aneurysm we might have to come back to aneurysm because you know nitro and the aneurysm goes hand in hand if you know your nitro lore which i know y'all do we're gonna call this one instead though the shock drop because i feel like it's gonna be a shock when that double foot stomp gets dropped you know what i'm saying it, it rolls off the tongue if you know what i mean now with smackdown versus raw 2011 came corner created finishers and i know i kind of moved around the camera but i didn't want 
want to block the created finisher screen where you can actually see what's going on because on 2009 and 2010 it was kind of on the opposite side but we're about to create the aneurysm because now that I see that that's a name we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so I'm thinking for this I don't really have an idea but I know Nitro likes throwing forearms and elbows as y'all all know so we're gonna throw a forearm smash to start start things off and we're going right after the back so then we're gonna jump up to maybe the back to back position possibly or maybe when we go to second rope behind oh they jump up on that one but nah I kind of want to go back to back real quick but you know how we do we might not end right here so then we're gonna grab the arms we're gonna scoop them up and then we're gonna go high angle clutch top and maybe oh my goodness oh my goodness oh is this just okay so really you can't do too much with this but I do want to see how it looked you already know how we do over here the first one's never the take that you want to take so let's just see how it looks all right it kind of goes slow and then just drops you right on your neck oh so instead of replacing the forearm smash we're gonna go back to the back to back position and instead of doing that let's go to the second rope behind position number two where they jump up because it's a little quicker you know I always used to love doing the backstabber let me tell you I remember making this creative finisher a lot when I was growing up man but instead of doing that I do have an L another idea that I want to do we're gonna go to top rope behind position instead because we're gonna go here and now we get a lot more access if you will and instead oh my goodness a backstabber off the very top rope is absolutely crazy let me tell you but instead of doing that what we're gonna do is we're gonna oh my goodness a zigzag off the top rope we're gonna go instead though and we're gonna go where did I see it the backbreaker takeoff because that looks insane let me tell you and we're gonna go right on into the backbreaker dive and then we're gonna go oh Oh, goodness, that is disgusting. Jeez, bro. I mean, I know the aneurysm is supposed to be after the brain, but when you see a move like this, you just got to go for it, you know? And I feel like we need to change the range maybe a little bit because I feel like we're too close. I feel like we're a little too close. So instead, oh, you also have rotation now. Let's do a 90 degree rotate. Oh my goodness. Can we do a 180? Oh, I don't think that's possible IRL, but hey, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I tried so, oh my goodness. That is crazy. All right, all right, all right. Okay, five is starting to look a little bit better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, hold up, hold up. Let's get these, let's get these numbers right real quick. Let's get these numbers right real quick because that is the key to making a beautiful created finisher. Maybe six is the one to go. All right, I like number six. I like the range on that. We're absolutely ruining people with this, but I just thought of something, man. Let me tell you real quick. I don't think that that's the aneurysm. Why do I not think that's the aneurysm? Because it's not going to the head it's not going after the head so instead we're gonna call that death from above but we're gonna move over to w WE12 to make the aneurysm. So with WWE 12, there was no new position, sadly, for Creative Finisher. This is kind of where everything stopped progressing with Creative Finisher, actually. There was less things being added with each year until 2K14, which was the last year that Creative Finisher was here. So WWE 12 is going to be the last game we create a finisher on because after this, it's all really the same. So we're going to go ahead and make another front grapple move because this time we are going to make the aneurysm. Now, hear me out. I feel like the way we start the aneurysm off is with a nice old, you know, I was thinking maybe a uh, headbutt, but instead of doing a headbutt, we're going to do something else. We're going to go for the Samoan drop clutch number two. Now, you guys know that the aneurysm in Nitro's moveset on WWE 2K19 and 20, etc. is the rolling Death Valley driver, one of my favorite moves of all time. So let's see if we can kind of create something like that. I doubt that we'll be able to to really because I don't think you ever were able to do something along those lines however let's see if we can try to do our best even though I doubt we will be able to but wait steamroller drop okay I mean you know that's not really that's, that's not really the it's not really what I was looking for but I mean maybe dreamer driver drop and then we can kind of kind of take that out and maybe maybe uh I don't know I, I don't know I, I really don't know 
I don't really know at all, actually. How how could we make the aneurysm? I don't know, actually. Oh no, because that's just the dreamer driver. That's not really it's not really anything fancy. So let's take away the dreamer driver, actually, and let's instead go for the steamroller drop, maybe. Where we go into the steamroller drop and then we go into the dreamer driver? Nah, because that's not going to look good either. Oh, man. Can we not really make a good aneurysm? Are we going to have to call an audible on the aneurysm completely? Oh, no. I think we are. I think we're going to have to call an audible completely. So instead, what we're going to do here is we're going to delete the Samoan drop. And instead, we're going to go to the Argentine clutch. That's right. The Argentine clutch. And now what we're going to do is something absolutely crazy to me what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go for the reverse attitude adjustment drop and instead of going out with the reverse attitude adjustment drop we're gonna kind of swing it a little bit to where you're like oh snap okay 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 wait a minute see i don't know if this is gonna really look good though but to my estimations it'll look weird but at the end of the day, you got to try to make something that looks kind of crazy. Now, this is what I mean. I wish they would have, like, you know, continued to add on to create a finisher. But they never really did. And that always kind of bugged me, man, growing up. But it is what it is at the end of the day. We're going to go ahead and change reverse attitude adjustment drop because I wasn't finding anything that I was really liking. So instead, what we're going to do is maybe... Huh, I don't know, man. Creative finishers are a little a little odd sometimes. Black hole spin out. It's kind of like the black hole slam that Abyss used to do. Shout out to Abyss, man. What a dude. Let's do the drop knee, and then we pull them up. Oh, man, this is actually starting to look brutal. Oh, boom, and then you pull them right back in. Hook the arms, and you know what? Let's actually lift them up. Vertical drop, tiger driver clutch, and then we're going to just drop them down. Oh my goodness, that is vicious. All right, there we go. There we go. I think that is a very good aneurysm, actually. Or wait, maybe maybe not, because we want to drop them on their dome, right? We want to drop them on their dome. So instead of that, we'll do something else. Instead of that, we'll do the jumping pedigree to end it, because we're landing them right on their head. That's an aneurysm, if you ask me. Look at this. Hook the arms. Boom! Drive them right down into the mat. That has to be an aneurysm. So now, as you have found, all three, or was that three or was that four? Let's see. That's actually four now. That is four created finishers. What was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments section below. What do you think the best was? What do you think the worst was? And rank them every few far and in between. But that'll wrap up the video for us today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always and forever, take it easy, though. Peace.